Stanley Abbott was one of the Parkway's original landscape architects, designers, and one of the concerns when they were first throwing out this whole idea of a, of a recreational motor road, this Blue Ridge Parkway recreational motor road connecting Shenandoah National Park with the Great Smoky National Park was, was how to keep visitors getting, from getting bored from driving 470 miles of, of, of road, a scenic roadway. And they didn't want visitors to drive just through 469 miles of trees. They wanted to make it a little more interesting for, 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 for people. And so um, a lot of the, route of the, the original route of the parkway went through farmland and agricultural land. And so um, the, the architects and designers of the parkway decided to try to incorporate some of that farmland into the design of the Blue Ridge Parkway. And so as land, lands, were being, lands were being acquired for the Blue Ridge Parkway, a lot of time um, the designers of the parkway um, would lease some of that farmland back to the original landowners. And the idea, the whole idea of the agricultural leasing program was to kind of um, preserve the rural farm scene along the parkway, but also open up windows um, to some of the mountains um, beyond the, the parkway to kind of ex extend the horizon beyond the parkway motor road.